Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, <laughs> welcome back. Thanks for joining me today on Character Wednesday. Today we are doing Lisa Simpson. <laughs> Thanks for being here with me today. I appreciate it. I hope you're well. Are you well? I hope you're well. These are the Simpsons that we've done so far, Marge, Bart and Homer. All the videos will be linked in the description of this video, so you can go check those out. And we're going to start the same way that we have with those three by using a an anonymous blue that doesn't exist anymore. And then a pink. This is I Heart NY from Madame Glam. And we're going to ombre them together with an ombre brush. The Madame Glam ombre brush. Um, you can get a whopping 30% off Madame Glam using the link in the description and the code MissJo30. Always check out the description. There's so many codes for so many nail places to save you some money. Who, who got stuff with the 50% discount code for, the G, for July that I had for Madame Glam? Let me know. If you got anything and what you got, I want to know. Right, here we go. Okay, ready? Ready. We're starting with a circle. Same as we did with the others. Hang on to the very end to watch how many times I tried to do this and wiped it off and started again, if you're interested. And then at eight o'clock, we're coming up at a little angle and then curve. And then we'll come down underneath it, just like that, but not all the way to where the nose line originally started less on the bottom and then at 11 o'clock we're coming up and round and we're taking that circle to the tip of the nose there we go and then um, ending about where the bottom line of the nose ends and coming out at about eight o'clock on that eye if it was a clock face <laughs> we are going to do a bit of an angled line and then curve it just a smidge in the other direction at the bottom and then from where the nose starts, we're going to do a line to join that. And then from about five o'clock on the other eye, we're going to carry on that curve. So the first part of the curve goes upwards. The second part of the curve is more straight. And then we start and we do a curve and then we come all the way round, but we end a bit further along, do we? No, we end about the tip of the nose. In, in if you were drawing a straight line from the tip of the nose and then we'll just do a little line to join those up that's her mouth we're going to roughly draw out where the teeth are but we'll do that when we fill that in anyway so don't worry about that and then from just into the teeth a little bit we're going to do a little c that's her bottom lip and then we come down at a slight angle just a tiny little smidgeroo and then from the corner of her mouth we come down to the same length distance as that first line okay and now <laughs> I fumble these bits so much but I find it quite amusing to try and explain everything we're going to do four full circles for her necklace and the just noting that the last full circle goes beyond the line of the neck on the right and then we're doing half circles from the neckline to the full circles because they're round going around her neck and then oh this bit doing the bloody hair was so hard um but hopefully this way i've decided to do it is helpful so from making a note as to where that line started from in between the eyes i'm going to draw straight lines from everything i'm using as them as markers because her hair isn't as simple as just doing lots of spikes so this one started just before the tip of the nose we went up and then we're going to join to this kind of rectangle we've made so i made note of the first one that it came out from about 10 o'clock on the right eye diagonally across and then 10 o'clock on the left eye up a bit made a square or a rectangle on its side then that went, went. Then the next line we did from the tip of the nose up, and then joined to the left to meet the rectangle, and then we come down a little bit, and this bottom point ends through the eye on the right, 
through about 11 o'clock on there. Okay, it kind of, yeah, I tried several different ways. This is the only way I got it to work. Then straight through the middle of the eye, we're going to go up higher and then join the line we've done before. And then at the very side of the eye, we come up and then we come to meet the point. And then, then what? From seven o'clock on that eye, going through one o'clock, we're going to come up and that will be the point, the peak, the tip of the spike <laughs> for the next one. And we'll join that to the bottom of the one before it. And then this line comes straight down just a little bit. And then for some reason I didn't get this bit on camera, but I went from about eight o'clock going through nine o'clock. No, three o'clock. <laughs> eight o'clock going through three o'clock, came out and then joined up the straight line to with a little angle to that line we've just created. We're gonna cover up all those lines so it's fine. But I tried a few different ways. I'll just freeze it there so you can see. And this was the only way I managed to get it to work. And now we're coming from nine o'clock straight through three o'clock outwards. And then this comes down a little bit. That's the low point of the spike, that line, we the long line. And then straight from the bottom of the eye, we're coming straight out, are we? It's a bit of an angle. And then we'll join that to the last one. I do, this is just impossible to explain, but hopefully... The fact that you can see it is helpful as well. We're coming straight out from the side of the mouth and then we'll join that to the last one. And then I think, does it come straight down again? That spike's kind of going off the page a bit, but that's fine. There, then it comes straight down and then horizontally inwards. Oh no, it's an angle. <clears throat> and then down again. And then this kind of joins up to the necklace. That's what it looked like me on my phone. I used gel polish and I zoomed in on a picture of her face and just marked where all the points started and ended in relation to the things we'd already drawn. So that was the best way for me to do that. Tried other ways. It was really fucking hard. So now from between the last two pearls on the left, we've done a little line down and then we're coming at an angle and doing a V. That's going to be her arm on the left there. And then just a bit further out than that line, which is sort of her chest, I guess. We're doing her dress. And we've got a curve here, an upwards curve for the top of her dress. Just noting where the curve starts and ends in relation to the pearls. And then down from one of the spikes, we marked where the dress ends. And this bit here, I didn't follow the picture. After doing the hair, I'd had enough with doing spiky bits by mapping it all out. So we just did some little Vs and that will be the end of her skirt. Okay. And then we come out. We're coming out with an arm. So we're coming out from the middle of the last two beads on the right. We're going to come out a bit and then into the dress. I just thought we'd, it'd be nice to get some of her arm on. So we'll bring that out and round there we go and then from her dress we're coming parallel there we go there's the word parallel to that curve we've done and we're just going to do the same on the inside but then we're going to do a curve at the bottom here because her hands sort of bent back so we'll just do all oh, the light lines in the way we'll just do a curve to join those up and then we'll worry about what that looks like when we come to fill in to do the outline. Oh, and I thought her arm looked a bit chunky. So I'm taking off the first bit. and But again, starting between those two pearls, but just making her arm a bit thinner. And then we'll join up the dress. The last spike ends in a bit of a flick. And then we'll fill in a line between her arm and uh, where her dress is. There we go. Okay. Now we'll add some legs. Just straight lines. One, two. One, two. Okay. Oh, and then the bottom of her arm on the other side. Just a line and then start to go up because that's her arm's kind of bent. Didn't like that leg. Thought I'd put it more of, a, of an angle, but I think I, I changed that when we outline anyway. Okay. Now we're going to fill everything in. How did we do? Was that really horrific? 
um, the spikes. Yeah, it was, it was, it took me so many attempts and I have put um, a bunch of them, not the hair, but just starting out some of the hair um, at the end of the video because I don't want anyone to think that this went right first time and that it should take 20 minutes to paint this character. Took me ages. I don't know how long, but a long time. So don't ever feel like you have to go as quickly as you see things in a video. Things take a lot longer than they look. Some people don't edit their videos much and maybe they do just work a lot faster. I don't. <laughs> and I'm not, I don't, I don't get mad at myself for taking ages to do something. If I was trying to get this done in a certain amount of time, I would be rushing and it just wouldn't go as well as I would want it to go. So just go your own speed. Don't assume things only take the time they take in a video because it's very rarely the case. Although I did watch a Votino live the other day and he smashed out a, light, a Simba set um, in not that long. But he's obviously just a genius. <laughs> so I'm using, um, I've used the white gel paint from Madame Glam to do the outline and fill in the eyes. This is the yellow gel paint. And I'm going to do one coat of the yellow gel paint as is. And then I'm going to mix Sundays and the yellow gel paint to do the second coat of the skin colour. It's just, it's how I did the first one. So I figure, well, I have to do them all like that. So they're all similar. Um, but I think the yellow mix that I'm making, it's obviously going to change a little bit each time because I'm remaking it every time. But it's fine. It's fine. It's close enough to the others. So we'll go over the skin again. I'm going to do the whole thing. I'll, I'll cut to the next step because we've just watched the yellow. So I'll go over everything. And I've cured. So I cured the first coat, cured the second coat, and cured the eyes before doing the yellow. And then we're going to use this sort of reddish. Some pictures her dress looks red. Some pictures her dress looks really orange, but I wanted it to be bright. So I kind of went for this neon red that is a gel polish um, from a, a, a brand that doesn't exist anymore. Um, I did try and mix some colors, but I'm not very good at color theory and what I need to add to get more whatever. And then I found this, I thought that's, it's kind of orangey, it's kind of red, it's kind of, and it's bright, it will do. So we'll fill in her skirt and then the mouth and beads. This is the fun part because you've got the drawing out the way. And I, I know there are some videos, there's a, a, a Russian tech who's done some characters. I don't recognize the characters from anywhere, but she starts, she, she's fantastic, but she starts the drawing tutorials or these, the character tutorials that she does. And she's already drawn the character um but obviously we need to know how to draw it that's like the hardest part of it i think um so that's why i obviously include who's screaming outside my bedroom window wooing all the way to the beach could you have fun more quietly please um but yeah that's why i put the drawing bits in it that's the hardest bit that's what we need the tutorial for i think anyway where was i going with that i don't know um so we filled in her mouth and then we'll do, do I use a dotting tool for her beads maybe to get circles? Oh, I paint so slowly. Oh. Yes, I'm gonna use a dotting tool to get these circles as circly as possible. I'm going to do every other one. So I'll do these two and then I'm going to cure them or half cure just so that when I do this one, it doesn't blend in and we don't lose the, the crispness of the circles and then I'm using a brush just for the side ones because they're not full circles so we don't want to put a full circle there and this one has a straight edge on one side where her hair will be defined a bit more when we outline okay coloring in parts done now it's back to a more fiddly part with the outline so everything has been cured as we've gone, but now a super cure, as, as in a full cure, as in nothing super about it, just a full cure. 
So we're going to use the black gel paint to outline everything. And you can see that how much my brush isn't bending to the amount of pressure that I'm putting down. So very, very little pressure. The brush is, is barely bending at all because I'm just not putting any pressure down to try and get nice thin lines. Excuse my voice, it's a bit Ugh. because I've the last couple of days I've woken up um, really hoarse and I think it's probably because I had family here this weekend and I'm just just not used to, I didn't edit that bit very well did I? Um, just not used to speaking that much out loud I don't think, <laughs> just don't talk that much. Um, so I've got a bit of a sore throat. I've outlined the eyes off camera because I, I just can't on camera. It's too much pressure. And then we're going to outline everything. So round here, sort of like a D shape at the end, or it will be when we put the teeth in. And then bring that again. The brush is barely bending. And then the nose goes about halfway into the eye. And then about halfway into the line the top line of the nose for the bottom line of the nose and then just a little curve and then finish off that eyeball I needed to put a bit more on two dots for eyes just one dot don't over dot you know sometimes when you do a dot and then you keep dotting on it to get no their eye their pupils are very small and the eyes did take about five attempts to get them in the right place otherwise they look really weird and then we're going to outline her beads are they pearls i wonder real pearls i don't know if uh is she eight lisa or is she is she older than bart i can't think uh no is bart the oldest i don't know one of them's eight and one's 11 are they is it the other way around i can't remember but i don't imagine anyone of that age wearing real pearls so we've outlined the beads pearls and then the neckline comes from in between the last two pearls on the right and then above it we have a little C that sort of goes in between the eye and the smile and inside that C we did a J but the top of the J was curved it's like a T but all the lines are curved what did we just do oh we added teeth why is it going so quickly we added teeth and now we're adding eyelashes I miss I, I liked these eyelashes but for some reason wiped them off did them again don't like how they're re redone this one comes out of the eye and then we've got 10 o'clock um, midnight and one o'clock on if the eye was a clock just noting where the eyelashes go and the teeth the first line of the teeth so we have where the mouth ends and then the first line for a tooth makes that first tooth that we see on the left smaller than the rest of them but that's because that's going round the side of her mouth so we're outlining the chest the dress and then you'll see the dress comes out a little bit further than the sort of chest um on the left there and then we'll outline our ziggy zags and on her arm on the left the line at the top of her arm came into the yellow a bit and then where her arm bends and comes back up again the line on the top um oh crikey it comes out <laughs> <laughs> i should eat before i do this there's no there's no brain food um in my head in my head <laughs> i haven't fueled haven't fueled my brain today <laughs> right we're just outlining but this bit we're going to um try and make it look like her hand is bent over so we're going to bring this line in a bit and then make an upside down v just come down there and then we'll curve all the way around and that kind of looks like it's fingers and not a, a stump and then her legs and then i'll, I'll the last line on this leg I'm going to make a bit straighter so what I'll do is I'll just use the pink at the bottom of the ombre and go over that yellow bit because I thought that leg was a bit looked a bit a bit like she'd broken it it was in a weird place 
So I'm taking these two jelly polishes, more yellow than black, but we're going to mix them together to start shading. And we will follow the Vs from the um, sort of one in the top middle here. And we'll follow them all the way around um, and try and make our shadow um, the lines, <laughs> the, <laughs> the part of the shadow that's on the inside. So that line is parallel to the outlines. They're just even, even lines. But then here I noticed that actually lots of this part of her head was covered. So it came right to her ear and then all this bit here, which I don't know, thought looked a bit weird, but I just was doing what the picture looked like. So then all that bit there was shaded with the, the mix of those two jellies. And then I'm going to go down the right side of um, everything, everything yellow. Um, oh, and on the bottom of her nose on the inside. And I went under her mouth, which wasn't in the picture, but um, I've done it on all the others. So let's do it on this one as well. And then down her arm and then this curved round to get sort of most of where her uh, fingers start. Um, I was talking about the line on the bent arm, wasn't I? Hopefully you'll see it in, in a sec. I'll explain it. Yes, I'm going down the right side of her legs as well. And then on the arm here. Yes, so you see that top line of her arm. It came into the yellow and then where it bent upwards again, it, it had the little, yeah. I, do, I just don't know how to explain that bit, but you see. Um, it's all fine. <laughs> and then we're going to mix the skin yellow with some white gel paint and we're going to do highlights down the left side of most things and the top of her nose on the inside and this highlight came down in between her lashes so just make sure you don't paint over her lashes. Use a very very small amount of pressure for that bit there just to um, highlight the top of her nose and then the bit of her arm that I don't know how to explain those two lines I don't know why <laughs> oh I know what I did want to say thank you to everyone for your birthday wishes I missed did I miss one or two videos I can't remember um but I was just doing birthday things and my my niece stayed for a couple of nights after a family barbecue this weekend um and we we went to go to the beach I'm just highlighting you can see um, on the left of everything we went to go to the beach in the evening so we thought we'll go down there it'll be dark um we can look at the stars and we took a blanket and everything oh, i'm mixing the black jelly with the dress color and we're going to go down the right side of the dress and it comes around the hand so we'll do that and then we'll mix the white gel paint with the dress red and we'll do a line on the left of her dress. So all the shading is to the right. All the highlights are to the left. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Yeah, so we went to the beach. <laughs> and it was pitch black. And the, the tide was coming in, I think. And it was quite noisy. Um, it was quite choppy. And so we got there. And she was like, this is a bit scary. And it, and it was a bit, I suppose. But, I mean, I wasn't that scared. It's about I could see my house. So I wasn't that scared. But um, then we saw something on the beach and she, moving. She was like, oh, my God, what's that? And I said, oh, it's probably just a cat or a fox or... And she went, a dinosaur? <laughs> I was like, probably not, but let's not take our chances. So we went and sat in the garden um, with uh, a blanket and some snacks and hot chocolate and music. And we saw a shooting star, which is quite cool. Um, so that was a nice way to sort of end my birthday celebrations. But thank you for all your birthday wishes is where I was going with that. So I've done some white clouds explained more in the Homer video, just sort of straight lines for the bottom of them. But they're not straight. They're straight with little humps in and then big humps on top. And then we mix the white and the blue from the ombre at the top and just went along the bottom of the clouds because Simpsons clouds have little blue bits at the bottom. But yeah, there's more about that, those in the Homer video. And then we're using a light grey to do a crescent moon shape around the right side of each eye. I went over the black outline a bit on the eye, so I scraped that off before curing. And then we top. 
and that's it. I feel like this was very terribly um, orated. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Voice overed. But hopefully it was okay. I hope it was kind of helpful. The lines for the hair going from the eyes and marking out where everything was. That was the only way I managed to do her hair. But there is um, a few minutes at the end of this video showing you all the times I messed up. Just so you know, you know, it doesn't always go as smoothly as the video might make it look. And here she is with the rest of the gang. The next one we would do will be Maggie. And then I think I might do two more and we'll have to just keep revisiting The Simpsons because there's so many characters I want to do. I appreciate you being here so, so much. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye. bye. Leave a donut emoji if you're still here. Even better, send me a donut. <laughs>